Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the team at Dodgy Software. Today I want to feature a simple command plugin for Autodesk Maya 2011. Uh, what a command plugin does, if I show you, down here there's the little mel script, uh, mel script bar and if I type in the sphere command you'll see that a sphere will come up inside the editor. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, going to create our own custom command there. Uh, so if I show you, I'm using uh, Visual C, uh, the Express Edition 2008, um, and this is the source code that goes behind it. Without going too much into it, I'll give you a high level introduction to it. Uh, what the command uh, name inside Maya will come up with, it will be called DS command, and there are two functions that you need to implement uh, inside, your, inside your code, which is the initialize plugin and then there is the uninitialized plugin. Um, now you will need to register your command plugin with the command plugin dot register command. You put in the command name and then the creator function. I'll cover the creator function in just a moment. And then to deregister your plugin, you call plugin dot deregister command. Now the uninitialized plugin method is called when you ch um, turn the checkbox off inside the uh, plugin manager inside Maya and the initialize plugin is called when you initially check uh, when you when you check the uh, button on inside the plugin manager. Uh, so if I show you, we'll, we'll dart across to the command uh, header and this is where all of the magic happens. Uh, you implement an npx command which comes straight from the Maya API and there are two virtual functions that you need to overload, the do it and the create methods. The uh, creator method simply returns a new instance of the command class, which implements the npx command, and the do it is where the, is where the is the core of the function. In my case, I'm creating a string called uh, which says dodgy software command plugin template 2013, and I'm using mglobal display info. What uh, mglobal does is it's a large it's a very large collection of static functions associated with the Maya API and the display info uh, will pop up in a little box inside Maya and will display the text for us. Uh, so let's see this uh, in operation inside Maya. Um, if I go to the window, settings and preferences, and then go to the plugin manager, for the very first time I'll, when I click on uh, my uh, DS command uh, plugin, notice how it's .mml. .mml is a DLL file with an M uh, swapped out for the D for Maya Link Library. When I first click on this, it will execute the initialize function, uh, the initialize plugin, and if I jump over to the output window, you'll see how I've got um, DS command plugin successfully registered. And if I check the DS command off, you'll see that uh, it says dodgy software command plugin successfully deregistered. So uh, let's put the function back on and then type in our command line down here in the little mailbox, which is ds command. And all going well, the little box that will appear in is this little black one over here. So when I press enter, there we go, we've got the contents of our command plugin. And uh, that's the end of this uh, video. I, uh, until next time, take care.